The Planet Man. The Planet Man. This is the fascinating story of Dan Troll, the Planet Man, troubleshooter for the League of Planets organization, the law enforcement body for peace and justice in the celestial world, whose headquarters and center of operations are situated on the capital of all the planets, Planaria Rex. From Mercury to Pluto, wherever danger threatens the universe, you will find Dan Troll, the Planet Man, fighting for fair play. In a moment, the Planet Man. Slats and Danto are on the planet of the Mardi, the race run by women, with a science far in advance of the leagues. They hope that the council which rules will decide to help them against Marston, but things look black indeed. They certainly seem to be taking their time about making a decision. Yeah. Hey, Cantro, look. What? Oh, hello. Get the door open. Hiya, come on over. Sit down. Don't be afraid. We aren't going to hurt you. We'd just like to ask you a few questions. What's the matter with that guy? Is he dumb or something? Look at him. He just stands there. Well, I guess he has orders not to talk to us. That's right. That's what he said before. Hey, look, fella. What's your name? Listen, we won't tell anybody. You can open up. What's the score around here? How do you guys feel about having women run everything? What's the matter? Oh, brother, look at that guy go. Hello, Aurora. Hello. Was that Mallow who rushed out of here so quickly? Rushed out? I didn't even notice that he was here. Please don't offend my intelligence. I heard you talking as I came in. What were you trying to do? Get information from him? Now, don't jump to conclusions, Rura. We were only trying to be friendly. After all, we've got to talk to someone. We've seen hardly anyone but each other for a long time now. I sympathize in your desire for conversation, Planet Man. But my sympathies are not the point. You and Mala have orders not to communicate with each other. If you break or violate those orders, I will have no choice but to report back to the Council. You mean you'd give the guy the business just for talking to us? We've discussed it far enough. You know what is expected of you. I trust I will not have to mention it again. Let me say that it is fortunate for Mala that I did not hear his voice. All right, Ruru. We understand and we apologize. Tell me, have you any word from the council? Yes, I'm afraid I have. Afraid? I guess I know what that means. Well, it doesn't come as a surprise. Let Ruru explain, Slats. Exactly what happened, Ruru? There's nothing to explain, Planet Man. The council has decided to deny your request for aid. That does it. They never even give us a chance to tell our side and make a decision. What kind of justice is that? How do you expect me to have any respect for your ways of doing things, Ruhr, if that's an example of justice on this planet? It's not your place to question the decision of the council, nor mine. I'm not free to discuss it. I respect your position, Ruhr, but surely this doesn't finish our case. There's nothing you can do. The council has decided, and that is final. They are the highest government body in our system. There is no appeal. But do they know what they're deciding? What do you mean? I mean, do they realize that this is not just a question of whether they help us or not? It goes far beyond that. Marston has the weapons and the devices of the ancient race at his disposal. At this moment, he's involved in trying to gain complete control of our League of Planets. Even with his weapons, that will not be easy for him. The whole League will resist him in every way that they can, and so will all the people on all the planets. Yeah, a fine lot of resistance they can do against all the stuff he's got. That's right, Slats. You see, Rura, there is no question that sooner or later Marston will triumph. The League will be in his hands. Do you think a man like Marson will ever be content with one solar system? What do you mean, Planet Man? Well, I think my meaning is obvious. Once he has control of our system, his ambitions will grow. He will reach out for new planets, new peoples to conquer. It's only a question of time before he reaches this section of the galaxy, and what then? Are you serious? I was never more serious in my life, Rura. But you said yourself that our science is advanced enough to enable us to help you overcome Marston. Why, then, should we fear him? Yes, it is strong enough, enough to overcome the power that Marston has now. But as he conquers new peoples, he will gain the advantages of their scientific knowledge. Who knows what new weapons, new machines will be in his hands by the time they reach out for this system. Hey, you know, I never thought of that, Dan. Well, that makes a lot of sense. How about that, Rura? 
Do you think your counsel thought of that? I wish I knew. Truthfully, your words give me cause for great concern, Planet Man. That's good, Rora. And I'm glad that what I say makes sense. But what about your counsel? Can't we tell them what I've just told you? It's impossible. What do you mean, impossible? A year ago, I would have said it was impossible for anybody to leave the gravity of the Earth. Impossible for any science to do a hundred of the things that today are just routine to me. Nothing's impossible. Those words convince no one but yourself, Slats. I cannot change the customs of a thousand years with logic. No man has ever appeared before the Supreme Council of the Marty. No man ever shall. It's unthinkable. Can't you speak for us? I don't know what to say. While it's true I'm a special envoy of the Council, I'm not as important as you may think. Well, isn't there someone you can talk to? Yes, I think there is. This is worth at least the effort. Heru, the head of the Council, has always been quite friendly to me. Perhaps she will listen. At least I will try. Well, that's fine of you, Rura. Yeah, it really is, you know... You're a pretty swell gal. Don't forget yourself, Slats. My interest is not in you, but in my own people. Don't presume upon my concern to become familiar. You and Dantro are still my inferiors. I cannot forget that. There you go again. I guess I just don't understand women. This is hardly the time for an explanation of a very complicated question, Slats. We're both grateful to you, Rura. Do the best you can. I shall. If I have any word for you, I'll come back at once. Thank you. I guess we were right about her. She's pretty regular. Don't be too optimistic, Slats. It may do no good at all. You know, Marston sure must be making things miserable back at home. Getting stronger, knocking off the opposition, building up his own organization. What next? Well, Danto seems to have stirred Rora with his talk of Marston. Can Rora get the Marty Council to reconsider its decision? We'll be back in a moment. So, level up. When we left Danto and Slats, they were still confined to their quarters on the planet of the Mardi. We find them now as they await some word from Rora, who left to explain to her superiors Danto's thoughts on Marston. Here we are, waiting for a bunch of women to make up their minds, or rather to change them. And while we are, who knows what Marston's up to? I've thought about that, and it certainly must be rough back there, particularly for Judge Augustus. Now Marston must hate him, and with me away, he's probably getting rid of all his hatred on the judge. Judge Augustus, I think that Dantro would enjoy this organization as we have it set up now. They used to call him the fearless planet man. <laughs> he's so fearless, he's disappeared into space. <laughs> Hey, Dantro, listen, what are we going to do if Rora comes back to the news that the Council's turned us down again? Go on with our ship, Slats. What else can we do? There must be a way to get to the Council chamber to make them understand. There, there is a way. What? Who's that? Mala. Yes, there is a way. You mean you'll help us, Mala? I've been listening to you talk ever since you first came, and what you've been saying has made sense. You mean about Marston? About Marston? Yes, of course, and about our society, too. I've often wondered at the injustice of one group being forced to remain always as inferiors. But the position of the men in the society of Mardi seemed doomed. The women had the knowledge and the power and the weapons. There was nothing I or any other man could do but obey. Well, this must be pretty rough. It's not pleasant. But the things you and the planet man have said have given me hope. I do not know what I could do, but I will help you. Well, there's one very important thing you can do. What is that? You know about the decision of the council? I heard everything. You know how anxious we are to get before the council ourselves. I heard that too, but I warn you, even if you could get there, it would be suicide. What do you mean, suicide? Oh, you would be cut down before you could speak. You mean you think they'd knock us off just for trying to talk to them? I'm afraid you underestimate the strength of custom among our people. As Rora told you, no man has entered the council chamber for as long as any of us can remember. I appreciate your warning, Mala, but we will have to take that chance if Rura brings us word that they refuse to grant our request. 
Will you lead us there? If that is what you wish. Is it very far from here? No. As a matter of fact, the council chamber is in this building. In this building? Where? On the highest level. Where are we? About midway. Is there a direct way to the chamber? The gravity lift at the end of this passage ends in the anteroom of the council chamber. Oh, brother, what a break. We're practically in their lab. Oh, unfortunately, it's not that simple. The way is guarded and patrolled. However, if that is what you wish, I will guide you there. Good. Hey. I think Rora is coming back. You're right. I'd better leave before she gets here. It will not do to arouse her suspicions. I think she already suspects me. Well, let's have it. What's the score? I'm sorry, but I accomplished nothing. Wouldn't Haru listen to you? She listened, and I believe she was impressed by what I said. But she is only one of the council. And she said that she could not on her own ask them to change their minds. But if she agrees with you... Please, I've done all I can. I'm afraid there's nothing more that can be done. The council's decision stands, and that is that. Our two friends must now take action. Will they try to reach the council room of the Mardi? What danger does this move present? We'll be back in a moment, but first, here is a message the Planet Man wants you to hear. again for more transcribed thrills and adventures. Rocket millions of light years into space with Dan Troll, the Planet Man. The Planet, 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 Planet Man. Planet.